All right, so we're back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and cover how we can go ahead and create uh, top level comments. So basically, top level comments are basically just uh, comments that you create that other people can reply to. So there, I know there, it's a little, it sounds really, really weird, but there's a difference between common threads and comments itself. At least just from the API standpoint, right? So, for example, if I go on a YouTube video right now, and if I were to just create my own comment and not reply to anyone else's comment, that would be considered a top-level comment. And from the API's standpoint, it would be considered a comment thread. Okay, if you wanted to reply to a comment, you would have to use the comments resource. But we'll cover that in another video. And it even mentions it right over here. To add a reply to an existing comment, use the comments.insert method. So, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a post request to uh, this endpoint over here. Now, one thing that we have to keep in mind is when we look at the authorization, we can see that this request requires authorization with at least one of the following scopes, and that is the YouTube Force SSL scope. We actually don't have this scope, so we'll have to actually add that. So let me just go into my code. And let me go ahead and do this. So. What I'll do is I will just copy the URL of the scope right over here and I'll go ahead and just paste that in like this okay and uh, I could probably remove this one because the other endpoint that I was using uh, did in fact actually uh, have this as one of the scopes that were needed but I'll just leave this for now um, and then what we'll need to do is we'll need to re-log in again so we can get a new access token because we changed the scopes. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and run the code. So that will restart the server. And let's just go ahead and re-log in. Okay, so I'll we'll just click on my account. And then it's gonna go ahead and tell us uh, the scopes. So you can see that it says, see, edit and permanently delete your YouTube videos, ratings, comments, and captions. Okay, and let's go ahead and just click continue. Okay, and we're done. And we're going to go into our code and we can see that the access token or the, not the access token. Yeah, yeah, the access token right over here should be right over here. And I think this one should be a brand new one. Uh, we'll have to double check that in just a second. But if I go, if I were to just go over to a previous request that we made, and if I were to compare these two, I think, yeah, this one definitely seems like a different one. Yep. Yeah, this one is, uh, I think, a different one for sure. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and just add this bearer token real quick. And we'll make the request to the API. So let's copy this comment thread URL. It's going to be a post request. And it says, let's see. We're going to need to provide a request body as well as the part query parameter. And for the query parameter, I'll just do ID and snippet, I guess. So part equals ID comma snippet. Remember, these are comma separated values. And you don't need to include both. You can just include whatever it is that you, that you feel like you need. So if you, if you don't need replies, if you don't need snippets, you can just get the ID. Okay. But we're creating comments. So that's a different story. So uh, for the request body, um, we need to go ahead and provide a value for such properties. I'm not sure why we need to provide a value for the channel ID. doesn't really make much sense to me because each video belongs to a channel already. So it doesn't make sense to include the actual channel ID. But uh, we'll go ahead and do that anyways. Give me one second. So what I'll do first is I'll go ahead and include the video ID first. So let me go over to the request body. Let's go click on raw, select JSON, we'll do snippet. Uh, let's see, or maybe let's let me double check snippets, channel ID, video ID, and um, let me see. Well, they say you must specify value for these properties, so I don't think we can actually. Uh, yeah, I think we definitely need to provide a channel ID. If I try to make a post request. It's going to say comments cannot be empty. So we do need to provide a value for top level comment dot snippet dot text original. So top level comment 
snippet text original. And again, if you're using the Google libraries, you wouldn't have to manually pass it the request bodies like this. Hello world. And of course, it's going to tell you that each comment thread must be linked to a channel or a video. But it says channel or video, so it makes me think that we don't necessarily need um, the channel ID as long as we have the video ID. So let's go ahead and set the video ID to this. And this is just going to be my test YouTube video that I had uploaded on my test channel. Okay. And we'll go ahead and click send. So it seems like that worked. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and refresh. So we don't, we did not need the channel ID, which is great. So let me refresh. And we should see our comment. Perfect. Our comment is literally right over here. We can see it says hello world. Great. Now let's go ahead and see how we could delete this comment. Uh, seems like we actually can't. Based off what I see on the API, it says uh, it doesn't seem like there is a delete function for common threads. So I don't think we can actually delete it, at least not right now. It's currently not supported. Um, maybe in the future, but for now, you can only insert and list. Okay. If you wanted to, of course, fetch common threads, uh, you would need to provide uh, certain filters, of course. So you could filter by channel ID, video ID. Um, let me see. So let's go ahead and make a quick request. And I don't think this would require authorization because comments are typically public on, you know, videos that are public, of course. So you don't need authorization for this endpoint. I think you can just get away with using an API key, which I'll go ahead and just grab real quick from our previous request that we made. Okay, so I'll just get this right over here. Key equals that. Okay, and then We'll just need to provide uh, the parameter part, and we'll want to get the ID, replies, and snippet. So yes, this allows you to get the replies of a comment thread, and uh, we want to filter by the video ID. Um, so let's go ahead and set the video ID to be the video that we just commented on, which was this one right over here. So let's just copy that ID. Uh, let's go ahead and paste it here and let's call this endpoint. And you can see that right over here, we have our items array. We have one result and we have the comment we have the snippet top level comment. And we can see that the content is right over here. Text display, text original can reply true. Okay. So that's how you would fetch comments. And of course I can go ahead and just post another one. Hey there comments. Okay, and then I can go ahead and fetch this again. And you can see that it'll say total results is now two because we have two comments. Okay, so hopefully this uh, helped you all out with uh, creating comments and as well as fetching comments. In the next video, I'll show you how you can actually use the comments resource to actually reply to uh, top level comments. So we'll play around with that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace out.